welcome to FedScoop TV. I'm sitting here with Jacob Parcell, who's a manager of mobile programs at GSA. Hi. Hi, Camille. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Great, great. So let's talk a little bit about the trends uh, around public-facing mobile development. What are some of those that you see in the federal government? In the federal government right now, uh, agencies really are looking to create new engaging user experiences around mobile and a lot of the development we're seeing right now is around responsive web design. Responsive web design is a way agencies can create content for websites that fits the device screen size. Um, but while there's a lot of interest there, there's also a lot of interest in native app development and there are a lot of good examples of agencies taking a native application and actually really engaging with their users. And finally we're seeing some SMS uh, implementations but we're seeing a lot of agencies also sort of start to move up the chain a little bit and create data and APIs that are usable by third-party developers to create mobile experiences as well. What are some other good examples of these uh, mobile implementations in government? There, there are actually a ton of good examples, but I'll give you a few. Uh, I think the some of the better ones, uh, just from a pure design perspective and a pure engaging with the audience they were reaching, is CDC Solve the Outbreak app. What the C CDC Solve the Outbreak app is, is an application that allows younger users to kind of learn what it's like to be a, what they call a disease detective. These are the folks who go and respond to epidemics when there's an outbreak somewhere. And basically what it does, it gives scenarios and gamifies the idea of solving disease outbreaks. Um, there are also a number of agencies that are, that are releasing multiple mobile products, as we call them. They're releasing responsive web design and they're re re releasing native apps and they're really looking at how they can engage with the user with the different missions and the different uh, projects. A good example of this is the Department of Transportation. The Department of Transportation is what does what I like to call letting a thousand flowers bloom. They have a responsive web design for their website and some other websites, but they also are doing native apps. They have the Safer Bus app, which allows you to actually check out the safe bus, the bus safety record when you're going to take a bus somewhere. They also have the Safer Car app, which is very interesting because you can look up data on cars if you're shopping for a car about safety ratings. But if you have a complaint about the safety of your car or another car, you can actually use the app to scan a VIN barcode and it takes the information about the car and it takes a complaint. So it allows DOT to actually take the data that users give them and engage with the users around their mission. So and there are a number of other good examples. Um, a lot of agencies are also updating their apps. iris to go just streamlined the iris to go app. Um, we saw uh, FEMA crowd, starting to crowdsource information about uh, disasters with the FEMA app, and we're seeing a lot of good innovation in existing apps as well. Agencies, when they release an app or any other mobile product, they're doing a good job of updating them. So I would check, take a look at any existing app you know about because it's probably been updated at this point. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the things that government agencies should consider when developing mobile um, solutions? I've talked about considering the user a lot in my discussion. Really get down to the user and prototype the app with the user, prototype the mobile website with the user, but also think about the data that's going into the app. Uh, Census has been doing an awesome job of taking their API and developing apps with their own API. So they don't, they don't do a lot of different APIs for their applications, they're using their own API. And so an example is the Dweller app. And what they've done with the Dweller app is really personalize that experience with their data for the user. So what the Dweller app does is it allows you to answer a number of questions about locations, what your preferences are, and then lets you decide where you might want to go vacation, where you might even want to move to get a, a change of scenery. And what they've done is when they release these apps, they're very clear that like we used our own API for this app, you should too. And so they have a lot of robust uh, work around the developer site to actually have third party developers create mobile user experiences with their data that they might not have necessarily thought of. Mm -hmm. And what do you see as the future of public facing mobile development in the federal government? Well, it really, it's a great, that's a great question because it really looks at the future of mobile. And a lot of folks are talking about the Internet of Things. And I think a good example of the Internet of Things are what Mary Meeker calls the scannable, the wearable, the drivable, and the flyable. An example of the wearable is Google Glass, but other w products that you wear, like for instance, there's a lot of running 
devices, as you're showing here now, um, that, that, that people are looking at. And then as we move, there's a lot of developer conferences now where they're talking about these connected devices and they're prototyping the connected devices. I heard about one where there's a fork that actually allows, that tells you when you're eating too fast. So there's a lot of, lot of innovation around that. And the question for agencies is how do you prepare for these sort of devices? Should government be developing these devices? I don't know about that, maybe in some instances, but really what agencies can do to focus on for the future is really looking at their data and how they can share their data. Not worry so much about developing an application on a new device, but how are they able to share their data for developers to be able to use that data for new devices. And I think that's gonna be the trick. And what we've been doing in my organization has been talking about data standards, content modeling. Uh, Gray Brooks has been doing a lot of good work around APIs, and we see the future as really being this data-centric and moving up the stack, if you will, for mobile engagement. So. Jacob, it has been a pleasure having you on FedScope TV. We really appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much.